Hello everyone, my name is Nate Lex and welcome back to XDEX. Today I'm going to be teaching you a move that I made up myself called Chatham. I came up with this move in college and there are only two prerequisites for it. One is just going to be corner grips, so just watch our grip video, and one is going to be last week's video, which was the backdrop tutorial, a move by Kevin Ho. I've put these two things together and a couple of other things and made this move called Chatham that you saw in the trailer. And without further ado, let's jump into it. Alright everyone, and now it is time to learn Chatham. So I love this move. If you didn't see the trailer, it looks a little something like this. And it uses backdrop that I taught last week. So if you guys have it, please go learn that move. It looks a little something like this and you're going to need it to finish uh, Chatham. So let's get started. So what you want to do is you take your pinky finger and your thumb with the fingers extended and you're going to take a very small portion of the deck. I would say maybe seven cards ish and your thumb right here on your dealer's grip hand is just going to apply pressure and turn it face up sideways. This wrist is going to turn over like that and that is the beginning move. So essentially you're going to break off a small packet, your thumb's going to turn it over like this. This thumb on the dealer's grip hand is going to pull kind of like the we did with backdrop and pull this card forward and your other thumb in your dominant hand is also going to hold it and you're going to be able to do this thing. It's like a rotating packet. I don't even know. This kind of looks like I guess a, like a controller like playing with it only the middle part moves. Uh, but what you're going to do is pull out with your thumb and what's going to happen is you're going to turn this around like so and then pinch it against your thumb. Now let me show you how to do that because it's kind of weird. So you break off your little packet between your pinky and your thumb and you push that thumb down so it's face up and then you rotate your wrist down so it's face down again and you've almost moved that into dealer's grip by doing that. So in slow-mo it looks like that. So you hold it over top like a claw pinky thumb on these corners thumb on your dealer's grip hand pushes down so it's face up and now this wrist turns down and then over and you can see that it's now in a pretty much dealer's grip but your pinky's on the corner so then what happens is thumb pulls out like this and what i'm doing here from the upside is i'm actually spinning this all the way around till it makes contact with this part of my hand and it will swing out when it swings out here it could just go back this way but I rotate it a little bit after pulling out this direction so that it's pinched essentially between my middle finger and my thumb. And it's going to be able to rotate around that finger. So let me go through that again, just so you're not confused. Pull that off, the small packet. Uh, and actually you can keep it in dealer's grip in the other hand as well. And swing through like this, the card comes off, makes contact. And really, if you can, when you're underneath, you can make both middle fingers touch underneath where your thumbs are in this middle card, and it will help you. So just practice rotating it like this. You're gonna extend it counterclockwise or clockwise, depending on if you're right-handed or left-handed, around like this, making contact and pulling. This dealer's grip thumb stays up so that this thumb and this middle finger can drag that card around. And then what happens here, now that you're in this weird position, is your, this dealer's grip thumb is going to press in on that face upside against and press it into the other thumb so it's like this. So you would be able to be holding a very small packet in dealer's grip and a large rest of the deck in dealer's grip and you're holding it like this. The reason why you wanna keep this uh, in dealer's grip is because if you guys don't know what a deck roll is, you're gonna do that and then pull over into backdrop and then launch it. So let me walk you through that. You take the small packet, turn it over, thumb pulls, makes contact middle finger on bottom on both sides like this, comes around this direction, counterclockwise for righties, clockwise for lefties I'm guessing, pull around that way, around the thumb, this dealer's grip thumb pushes into that card and underneath here, this is kind of a weird angle, this thumb is now making contact like this. Uh, if you guys don't know what a deck roll is, that's also a good prerequisite to learn, and you just go like this. So you're holding this in dealer's grip, your index finger curls underneath like this, your thumb lets go, even though these fingers don't, and then you just extend out those fingers and it should roll over. It's a pretty easy thing to do if you're able to hold it in dealer's grip, you just uh, pull with your pinky ring, curl the index under, and then extend, and then once these long sides touch the other fingers, the back fingers, middle, ring, and pinky just flop over. 
So if you guys want to practice, you can just do this a couple times uh, before you even do the spin move. Push that corner down, turn this face up, and then push. If you guys know how to do a packet drop too, that's almost the exact same thing, only you just don't take your fingers away from it. So the index extends out, touching those fingers, and rolls the packet over. So now to continue, what you do is you pull, get to here, swing around, come through here, pinch between both thumbs like this. Now here's the th weird thing. You're gonna do a deck roll while still pinching this card. That's the problem or why it's so weird. You're going to do, oh, I didn't even do it the way I do it. There we go. Roll around, pinch between both thumbs. From this position, deck roll the rest over. And then here's the cool thing. If you guys remember how to do a uh, backdrop, you don't slide this card off the top, but your index and pinky make contact with the sides here, like those alien antenna I was talking about. And these fingers pull over and get into backdrop position and shoot it over. And that is pretty much Chatham. So guys, I'll go through it one more time and then we can be done. So what you do is you get it into pinky grip or pinky corner grip, I'm sorry, thumb and pinky corner grip, what am I saying? Push that top corner with your thumb, rotate it face up, turn your hand over so they're both in dealer's grip, thumb pulls off this side, thumb and middles make contact with both ends. This can swivel, but it rotates around. You're gonna turn your wrist down as this pulls over this card swings around your thumb just by pulling, so all you literally have to do is pull with a loose grip. This thumb gets in the middle between these packets, wedges that between, presses that card to it. When you're in this position, like this, your ring finger is going to put pressure here as it escapes your thumb and do the deck roll here. These fingers are now making contact, so you're in a grip like this with your thumbs pressed together, are going to perform backdrop and you guys can do it in any way you want. You can either do backdrop into a revolution, you can do backdrop uh, in a charlier, or you can do backdrop with pulling a card over. And guys, that is it for Chatham. So I will see you guys in the outro after the slow-mos. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my tutorial on Chatham. I hope you enjoyed it and I just wanted to remind you of this. If you're watching any of our tutorials on our YouTube channel, remember that you do not become a professional cardist in one day. These are going to take a while, so do not be afraid to watch these tutorials a couple of times. I specifically choose my words intentionally so that it helps you learn and I want you to get better at this art form. So please don't get discouraged. You will get there. Keep practicing. And without further ado, let's jump into some housekeeping. If you guys don't already know, I work for xdex.com. That's x-dex.com. I say it every episode and we sell Rex, Rex, we sell decks of cards and rare decks of cards. We make our own lo-fi deck and our Sukuyomi deck that's a music themed and a Japanese themed, and we stock over 1,500 different decks in our store. That's over 1,000, over 1,500 decks of cards. So if you guys want to help support what I'm doing on this channel, you guys can buy decks from that store. That helps me make this content and it helps keep this content free on our channel and help keeps, helps keep the channel running. Man, I am just losing it today. Anyway, if you want to, you can follow us on Instagram at xdexrarecards. It's where you can interact with me on the story at all times and you can send us a dm or comment on any of our posts and i love interacting with you guys i also love if you do one of my original moves or a move i've taught and you tag us we always repost it to our story and i always like to comment and encourage you guys to keep practicing also if you want i'm still trying to figure out office hours so to speak but you can join our discord there's a link in the bio for that and for our website and for our instagram and you can check all those out in the description and for the di different decks of cards you can buy my goodness 
Anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. All I would ask is that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. We just hit a thousand subs, which means we're going to be doing a giveaway. So stay tuned to this channel and keep your notifications on so you can see when we make a giveaway post so you know how to enter so you can potentially win some decks of cards from us. Anyway, I've been rambling and I've messed this outro up probably 40 times. So I'm going to head out and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.